Welcome back once again to Casino Sochi. We are now turning our attention to event number four, the 50k No Limit Hold'em. The first of the 50ks, and this is of course a day one. That is the table we have chosen to start off with. Playing 1500, 3000 with that 3k butt ante. It is Stevie starting the shortest with 29 picks. And we're pretty close. We're working our way up to Seth Davies. Leading the line, 80 big blinds, 240,000 chips. And two of our earlier final tableists, Danny Tang and Van Blokram. In the mix once again. Danny, suit ace in the big blind. 33,000. I've been playing too much shot. 11 big blinds, right? It's 11 big blinds, which means it's going to be a call. I wasn't... I just wanted to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Danny having to readjust <laughs> from short deck. I'm sure everyone else is rooting for me. I'm quite sure of that. You know, I'm sure everyone <laughs> wants want me to win. <laughs> You're so dead here, Danny. Huh? You're so dead on this one. I know. I don't feel great. Just play too many hands. I can just feel it. Six. Six. Just a six. Six. Oh, all right. oh, one more card. One more card to win. Random prices. Random prices. Alright, Stevie. Stevie stack, Stevie. But I have been noticing more the camp of flatting these type of hands <laughs> instead of uh, I mean, rebetting. Yeah. In these spots, also, but. Yeah, what a flop for Seth. Top pair, queen, high flush draw. Jason in a. What a trouble having flop top pair. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a this is a dealer versus small blind matchup. So this is much different than if Seth had raised under the gun. You know, it's like in this spot, Jason is going to be aware that this could be the best hand for sure, right? It's right. a lot different versus early position raise where you're going to be kind of like, oh, I don't know, Seth. Seth here is going to have a lot of lot of bluffs. Right. I mean, shots. on the flip side though, Seth has the the stronger hands on this board, right? He has aces, jacks, nines. He has more flushes than Jason on this flop. Jason with a three bet, we think nines, jacks, aces from oh, the small blind. My goodness. And the heart combos he'd cool with would be ones that include, you know, like like jack queen of hearts that you can't have. But for now, he's turned a three. Somehow yeah. taking the lead in this one. It's a pretty crazy uh, spot. Like it's really, uh, I mean, it's wild hand. You just think you just have to have the best hand. Um, you know, if you're Jason and you see this bet again, you kind of realize, like, well, you know, if he didn't hit the three, he'd probably go away. Obviously, he can't go away turning two it's a, pair. It's a big bet as well, 25 into 32. This is a lovely hand for Jason to have just to call three with, isn't it? Yep. Oh. Not so much anymore. And there he goes, gone pop. Gone for that really big sizing. Which is interesting, because as I say, I think he has a really big advantage on this board. Th this is, again, these guys are such close friends. They've done so much work in poker together and stuff. This is, you know, they, they, they're they very aware. And of course, there's no friends at a poker table, and it's just kind of, Jason probably realize, you know, he knows that as well. He realizes that he can't have. Okay, good for Jason. Um, that, that Seth would recognize that. So there are some bluffs. Aaron ripping it in under the gun. King Queen. Eleven blinds. Ivan with the aces. These are the actual aces, even I mean, for Ivan. This is This is uh not what Aaron wants to be up against. Of Jeff, course. no reason here to do anything but flat is there for eleven blind jam. You're just gonna play every hand as a call that you continue with, I would imagine. One red. Yeah. Just hoping someone wakes up with ace king, ace queen behind. Right. The dream. Man, not enough, and uh, probably in bad shape if you fold. Yep, you That's are in correct. bad shape. Doesn't get much worse. Just 13%. If you get the other ace behind it, <coughs> That's pretty sick. Shoot from one ace. Animal. Oh, yeah, demo. Ivan's been here before. He knows it's not. You guys still see five. It's pretty safe. Off the chop here, I think. Six for the chop. Premonition. Not to be Ivan. 
Continuing to crush. Wouldn't it be? See you in two minutes. Um, Jason's raising the gun as well, but you know, yeah. still. We all playing shorthanded, of course. Yeah, that sizing could even trip right. Well, like it looks like Ace King or not. Like, I guess right. Ace King most likely, but I think he just sort of like thinks this is absurd and folds it. But no, oh. mm. fold. He does go for it. Uh, misclick, yeah, yeah, there we go. It was a misclick. Things make sense now, Jeff. Yeah, misclick. Okay, yeah. okay that so makes a lot more sense. Why yeah. you made the 45? Yeah. Yeah. Which also, you know, Seth picked up on that makes that far more of a jam, right? You're gonna have some raise folds for that for the 29 sizing. Seth's jam much clearer with that in mind. Yeah, like I mean. Just some diamonds. Yeah. Even for you, that's all. 789. Hold on, the sizing. I'll go Queen, 3-3. Three, three. It's got the... Oh, it doesn't matter. A huge pot, Jeff. Yeah. Victor doubles up his starting stack. Seth down to pretty much just that. Bizarre, yeah, a little misclick created all this carnage. Jason got out of harm's way there, queen high. Yeah, he sees that flop, he's in trouble. Victor cools out of the small blind for the min raise. Danny's gonna give up the pick with Jack Flab off suit. You cover now, right? Yeah. Queen, queen, six, huge flop for Victor. Trip queens out of the small, checks it on over to Seth, who, all right, good decision here. Small blind peel, obviously a little, a lot tighter than the big blind peel. We'll have some connection on this board. Decides to bet 6K with the king of hearts. Key card here. Now, Victor, how best to play this one for such a small bet. Now you like for the raise. Does do just that, pumping up to 20k. This is what makes Seth's life difficult, having bet this flop. Doesn't block hands like Jack 10 of Diamonds, King Jack of Diamonds, hands that may like to run a bluff here. Tomorrow was 50k shot there. I don't know. Calls five on the turn. Well, that is a bad card from Seth's point of view because some of those bluffs will continue now. The backdoor diamond draws. And, of course, the front door heart draws that may be in there. 50k, 100k, 250k, 100k. They added the short deck at the end. Victor now. Beautiful. Just checks the turn. Or get more stuff. Interesting he decides to do so though, given that a lot of his flop bluffs have <laughs> still got quite a lot of equity. These early events, it's just to prepare yourself some ammo for the later on, you know? Yeah, or just like me, just get in the hole and you're just clawing, man, <sighs> trying to get out. Twenty-two. Wow, Seth, perhaps feeling he has the best hand here. Decides to fire for a little bit of protection and to get to showdown. He certainly plays his strong hands this way. He'd bet the flop. He'd call the check raise. He'd want to bet the turn. Can Victor pull out the double check raise? Twenty-two and a forty-four into sixty-four. Pardon me. Likes to just cool and. It's a very peculiar pot. Wow, what a river for Victor. Quads on the end. And this one will go check, check. Quads it is. Very interesting line there from Victor. You just have to go with these hands. Not much decision making. He plays so aggressively. Sometimes you run into it. 
That ace jack suit is just too good. All in. All in. <laughs> Ivan snaps it off with ace six off, doesn't even ask for the count. Just wants to gamble. And it is a big gamble, just 22% chance of scooping this one. All that rebuy talk. Queen, 10, 5, no additional outs for Ivan. But he is still drawing live. There it is. Six on the turn, makes Danny feel believe. sick. <laughs> you have to believe. King or Jack, he's looking for pain. Why not? You have to believe. And well, you hear that. Danny still has one minute to rebuy, not how he planned for this day to go. Have the attorney vote, let the big boss in. Yeah. Ah, false, sorry. Yeah, all in. Tyus all in at risk once again this time. Considerable underdog. Needs an ace. Deuce, three, four, picks up the wheel draw. Ace or five, it's never easy. Five, now a chop. Um, Tyus started to run it up and then ran out of steam. Victor continues his rise on our featured table. Over the 400,000 chip mark. I had a flashback from GG Poker when I saw this spot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, he wasn't even looking at the board or anything. Oh, maybe. He's I can't see Paul doing anything but flat calling here. Setting his own trap. Yeah. Now, will Juan Pardo pick up some equity? He does. Gut shot five for the straight. Yeah, just blew up like five times thanks to it too. It's just like, dude, these are worth like kind of a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. Was that five five time bakes? Runs into number six and has to mock up. <laughs> He's gonna fire once again thirty four and a half thousand. with some equity here he's he has okay equity against some hands not against aces but if his king was live oh. he'd be a little bit better off his eight may still of course be live against ace highs question is is he gonna fire rivers or not Paul's gonna give him a chance to find out he will call this bet Sorry. Ten on the river. Let's find out what's one part about. Tough spot for Paul if he fires the third bullet. Okay. He does move it in oh. for over pot. No more rebuy. No more rebuy indeed. Some of the bluffs have got there. 5 8 got there. 3 5 got there. 8 9 got there by the back door. 
The backdoor diamonds, they did miss. Some of these kind of hands. 8x hands, 5x hands with backdoor flush draws. Paul's having none of it. Gets the full double up. 580k now in his stack. Carry cats will all be in the mix as these guys go back to the main floor. One part of Domingo's. Well, he wasn't here long, but he lost most of his chips down to a starting stack. It is Paul Pua who will take the chip lead. Welcome back to Sochi Casino. We are, of course, here for the Millions Super High Roller Series. And if you haven't been watching, this is the 50k No Limit Hold'em event here. And I'm pleased to say that back joining me in the booth is Jeff Gross. He's full of, the belly's full of food, right, Jeff? Ready to go. And gorgeous food at that, right? Yeah, oh, man, unbelievable. It's a yeah. treat. So let's see what we got. New table, Timothy Adams on the short stack, Danny Tang back here. The Greenwood Brothers. Yeah. Maybe time for that. double up. 15 blinds, ace 10. Yeah, I'm in there. I'm in there. Danny Tank says I'm in there. Swim where he's got it all in and actually is ahead by a pip. Yeah. And True Teller, you know, it's a, I can't imagine calling here. I think right. probably Ace-10 is the, even Ace-10 just doesn't love it, right? Like he's going to see King, Queen, Queen, Jack sometimes. He's going to see eight sevens yeah. once in a blue moon. But yeah, I think he's going to find a fold. You're always happy. Wow, he whips it in. Huh? Wow, can't get. Fixes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm kind of surprised with you there, Jeff, that uh, what, what is the short deck? Timothy called there. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. It's all, more also because it's just so much of a stack. Oh, it's right. like if he had another 100k or I'm something. Not, that's something you'd say in short deck, but not in that He's going to have plenty of better hands to call off with when he raises yeah, under the gun than yeah, ace nine off, you'd imagine. But yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, let's see. He needs a nine on the end. Great. Oh. oh. Going to hold it. Can you get him with Yeah, other than aces, and this hand <laughs> is he's gonna get a call. Call. You fold? Which <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, as you say, 30%. Yeah. So even in this spot, it's pretty good to win three out of ten. Also chops happen. Well, this one leaning towards those seven times out of got ten the, you lose. Got the wheel draw five or deuce or a chop yeah. outs. It's a pretty good turn. Could be worse indeed. That is worse. Carry gonna. Yeah. Heart a little bit too little too late. If I really wanted to like grind on like Tuesday online MTT session or something, which I don't really want to do, but it's good. All right, we get our dream scenario: Greenwood on Greenwood violence. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna be fun these ones. Go to flop. Hello. All right. Greenwood takes the lead. 10, 8, 3. And this one, I think you could go either way with the ace jack suited, bet or check. It's good enough, maybe. But then there's the brother, brother the card. brother dynamic, yeah. right? If you're gonna, if you got to put it in like a mixed strategy, you could lean back. But you know what? Right, and these are funny spots because they probably know each other's game better than uh, anybody else's game. So they really do have to be balanced in all these spots. 9k the bet. Plenty of draws. Well, there's some draws, and definitely flopping top and bottom, known as the missionary. Top and bottom. Going to probably see a check raise to uh, 30k-ish. Going to take it up. Don't see any reason to just call, but did do that. Walk the dog, I guess there's some merit to letting, letting your brother try to just blow you off. But and here we go, picks up a flush draw to go with it, while Sam picks up a double gut shot draw. And if you're going to bet here, again, I think you, I see you going either way on that flop with that ace jack. Um, this is definitely a card that you could you could bet, right? All right, a little concerning because the queens come out and you're worried about queen nine, queen jack, jack nine. But on the flip of that, he picked up a lot of equity and you can really pressure an eight. Yeah. Checks it back and, wow. Lucas just has all of it. <laughs> yeah, he's got all the pairs and the flush.
I mean, the thing is, the f call on the flop, it's saying either has like 10 or 7 9 or an 8x, and it's just. Uh, right, a lot of hands got there, right? Yeah, queen jack gets there, queen 9, nine even gets got there, 7 so. 9 gets there, jack 9 gets there. Really, the only hands that don't get there are 8x. It does go pretty big, 50k, and then we'll get the job done. We got a big all in here. Yeah, Lucas raising up eight. Danny, three bet jamming ace king. Lucas, of course, calling in the cutoff. See, two or five. Yes. On my right. Ace or king on the flop. I just want to sweat. It's a big swing. Uh, no eight on oh, the flop. That yeah, no, that's a fair fight. Let's give this a sweat. Uh, no, no eight on the flop he asked for. Well, take it. Three, four sweat. Eight, five, deuce. Okay. Does it's finish it with the queen on the turn. Huge blow for Danny. I think it's going to come. I, I would have folded, but you told me it was only seven bigs. It just looked like a lot of chips. Oh, I should have said, like, 78,000, right? Would that have changed anything? No. Mm -hmm. Jerry, one card away. 93% no favorite. King high. Good. Good GG. game, Danny Tang. Harry Katz going to put us one place closer. Welcome, everybody, to the Millions Super High Roller Series here in Sochi. We are about to bring you the final table coverage of event number four here, the $50,000 No Limit Hold'em event. And, of course, James Dempsey joined once again by my man, Jeff Gross. And Jeff, what a final table we have. Look who's in second place, our man. He just loves the final tables. Holy sh what a what a week he's having here. Yeah, Aaron, he's mixing it in the short deck and he's here in his preferred Hold'em. Both Greenway brothers on the final as well. Artur makes another appearance. Obviously we saw Viktor Manoski mixing it up yesterday, but Makita Patsikowski is the man out in front at the moment, chasing that $765,000 payday for first. The wheel's spinning, you saw him thinking, right? He was uh, he, he was up to some ill, Ill intentions here and uh, if you are Luke, this is an uncomfortable spot. Although you are the shortest, you still don't, you know, you can right, ladder. You're, sh you're you shortest of these, but you're, you're, you've got two short. You're fifth of seven. Right. You're kind of like the shortest of the, the medium. Yeah, you're in the bottom of the pack, and the payouts are big. That's that's a good point. Not the actual shortest, but you're, you're, yeah. you basically don't want to risk at a final table. Uh You know, you don't, you don't want to be the first at risk. And, and this spot is actually but in a pretty good... Right, is this a slightly easier spot with Aaron peeling? We saw Aaron yesterday not one to three bet quite as much. He seems to be uh, keener on peeling these open spree. Does, does that perhaps just incentivize this? Make it uh, incentivize yeah. this for Makita just too much? That Lucas yeah, and, just and has you know, to go you, with this. And again, guys in a s small field, a lot of interaction with each other. So I'm sure there's something the brothers probably talked about, right? They probably uh, the Greener brothers were right. discussing some stuff, and that might be something that comes up. Hey, right. you know, be open, careful. He Aaron flats a lot, and so if he's aware of that, but you know, great play here. It's going to work just based on we know how Aaron plays. Auto rushing at one of our final tables. It's been a very Triton feel to it. We are here in Sochi. There are some Russians in the field, I promise you. Jack, Jack, Deuce. Slimmest of backdoor draws appearing for Victor. But really, just looking for that queen. Not to be on the seven. And there's an ace, so good game. But Jeffy coming as the shortest stack. Probably, uh, so we didn't get to see the bubble last night, but... Guessing he was very happy when the bubble burst, holding just eight blinds. Yeah, big swing. It's nice to get that six-figure cash. cash. Sizable, 112,500 for 50k blinds. We're talking over two blinds. Again, the perception that Makita's going to punish him. And it's so nice to have this stronger hand when he limps in. Fortunately for him, it's going to backfire a little bit here. He decides to bet queen 9-3. A couple of hops. A ball that I guess Jeff, a lot of his limping range does, does yeah. help. Yeah. Yep, and Arthur. Interesting when you get called here. Does check it back. And he's going to have a. Arthur has to like to see that check on the turn because he was kind of in no man's land. I mean, right. again, it's gonna, he's going to have queen tens, queen jacks, all those kind of things. Better nines, nine ten, jack nine. It's a scary board, but with the eight nine. 
Got to feel pretty good, and he's actually going to... Right, especially with that river. All right, boost of spades, and kind of a balk bet here. 50k, knows it goes check, a check a lot. I guess he doesn't expect carry to bluff too often. So bet small, and carries right oh, on no, it. All right, I got paid off. Does pay him off, because, you know, carries away. Also has a lot of draws there as well himself. I thought for sure it sounded, looks like a nine. Raise. Thought that was coming. Yeah. Feels like this has to be oh yeah, three for bet. sure. And the sick, the, this is the this is where there's you know some luck or variance where his radar he wanted to do it with Ace Eight off. Right, would have worked. Would have worked. And now he's got a stronger hand and oh, he wow. uh, doesn't raise. So again, he does mix this in the the call range and like also it. he's in position here. This could be this could be problematic for for Aaron. This is not well, a this is not a great spot. I thought know? for sure Makita was going to three bet that. I would have three bet that in that spot. Sharon mm, again, that's why he's one of the best. Just calls against Aaron and well, flops best on Jack 8 3. Couple of hearts there for Aaron. You can see some spice down the streets. Yeah, we did see Aaron make some, some moves too in spots. Remember, he got carried a full trip jacks at the final table and short right. deck that. That was wild. First event. Does have the heart. He's going to come out betting here. And if you're Makita, you love the flop, but you're thinking, okay, he's under the gun. He's. He's leading out here. Does he have queens, kings? Those are the likely hands he's losing to. He blocks aces, and he's got top pair, top kicker. No heart. Um, you got to feel pretty good about your spot, but you know if you start getting, he starts getting a lot of heat here. He's not going to love it, but pretty good spot here to start. One seventy-five. It's going for a very small race. <coughs> this is like a little bit of a exploitative raise. I mean, I think he just trusts Aaron not to bluff him. He does this. I know it feels, again, like a slightly weird line from Makita. Of course, Aaron's going to have hands that want to continue, like tens, nines, some flush draws. And he's going to have some hands that have decent equity, like king, queen, and even this hand that's 18%. Makes Aaron fold for just 100k more. Sam so with the button, Queen A off. Now that there's just five blinds with the blinds having gone through him and the level going up. Come on. I'll pick up something. So like five bigs? Something to get with you a little 300, bit. 300, yeah. Exactly five bigs. Carrie looks down at jack six right, off. Man, how do you get all those through? Is that three in a row? Four. Four? Four, already. Four, no calls. Well, Carrie had, Carrie had one. He's a short stack ninja. To do he is. You, you guys have direct position on me, so you have the... Uh, you know, if you want to put me to the test, yeah, you're the. When I fold already, I cannot call you. Yeah. This is this is a little surprising though. This yeah, one, I think this gun. would be a I'm nice up. one to raise. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm kind of find that one surprising. There's some guys who are going to jam behind you. It's a pretty good hand to call a jam with. Yeah, which maybe he could be inducing in some ways with. But Aaron going to take a peek here on the button. Carry with the. Suited ace as well. Gotta love to see the limp. Very happy to come yeah. in. Sort of like he's almost like he's like can't believe Perfect. how fortunate that is. Nikita, king for all clubs. Probably gonna be pretty happy to see a flop. I'm what? I mean, I guess he figures carry and Aaron don't have too much of a strong hand. If he does bluff, he just has to get through Arthur. But King four suited. I think we can just see a flop. Yeah, but. 300k would get million, done in his mind. 1.4 right? Artur. Probably. Yeah, I think he's gonna. He might go for it. Oh he does my go for goodness! It. All in. And I mean, Alto surely. Oh. This is what you limp for, right? Take the chip meter of the tournament. Risky with six left. Wow. But I mean, this is why you limp. He's not gonna call. He's going to call. He's not going to call. He's going to call, man. This is why he's limped. I don't know anything about him, but I'm telling you, no, this is not why he limped. He did not limp to get shoved on by Makita. He limped. He just set this up. He's limping to call Greenwood's stack. 
he's not limp. He can't call here. He can't. He, it's ICM suicide. Yeah, but look what happens if he if he wins this point. He's got what three minutes. You really think he's, he's going to call? Leader? No way. I, I think he might this call is, this. This is Ace Queen. This is Ace Queen of perfection. He's, he was reading the poem all last night. Yeah. He's got Ace Queen deep on his team. It's a, it's. Now he's not call. I'm telling you. I'll bet. I'll lay you two to one. He doesn't call. He's good. I think he's gonna call. He's. He's not. He's got dreams. He wants to school. hoist the trophy in Russia. At his, he's folding for sure. Get out of here with Come that. Come on. Big lay down to your small pair. Makita, that is a. I, so just super, <laughs> super interesting <laughs> spot. Yeah, I would officially you know, give up on what. <laughs> Queen Jack suited. This is uh, surfs up. Surfs up. Aaron's laughing about the four deuce, but listen, if you get an ace ten and it's not in there, I mean, what are you looking? For? What are we? What are we talking about? Yeah, it's bizarre. This will be a call, and they're going to be gambling. Fair enough. Sam will take it. Flip deck, short deck here. That really bad. Yeah, that's that's the mindset. That's how you win flips. If you're if you have the queen jack suit, you just pretend it's short deck. You're, you're like almost for sure winning. Your only hope is to get a set. I can do it. Ace five five. Great, great flop for sevens. Five. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm gonna ten, ten, more. No, ten okay. of hearts. Ten of hearts will be a good sweat card. Ten of hearts would be a good, a good sweat card. The queen's a slightly better card for Sam. <laughs> oh, diamonds are good though. Diamonds are oh, now I'm out. You got eleven <laughs> outs. You got eleven outs now. Yeah, not too bad. Maximum pain here for Sam. Or no. running queens. Not much pain there. Uh, four, fifty, right? Queens full. It's one of those spots too. Final tails. Everyone always Man, that's like always like rooting against you. Like they want to pay jump. Yeah. Feel to get a little. Even your brother's root piece of bust there. That's how dirty this game. It's actually yeah, a massive really swing. Like Just loves it. Like similar to Paul, right? Like they both. Paul created Triton with uh, yeah. Richard Young. Carries created Poker Go. Does the Aria, all this stuff, and then these events, and just like just want, wants the trophy, wants to make the best decision at all times. Is such a competitor, and these spots generally paint him. He's it's a he does make the cool. No king queen. Shit. Shit. Oh, somebody had a small pair. Yeah, or ace five, ace four, which would have yeah, been, you know, he's, sure. he's, he's jamming deuces, threes, fours, fives, ace deuce, three, six. So, uh, no, I wouldn't. Ace jack was a snap call. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'm in, uh, I know I'm in okay. I just say this because I'm probably flipping. Unless you I was hoping you had a weak ace or it was close. Jack nine three, Sam takes the lead. Fuck. <laughs> club hope. Carry Red backdoor six clubs a club. six, or he's off to the short deck. Six now. All right. Aaron standing up. Uh, oh, the Carry, come on, man. You've been. Oh, well, it was close in the sense that it was an upside down one. I stand at Carry Cats. Out in sixth. $135,000. And wow, Sam, he, he jammed a few through. He's, he's been ducking and diving, and all of a sudden, he's got a pretty decent stack, Jeff. The problem with this. Is it's Makita? You're right. It's uh, they're even stacks, and and there's just no. I don't see a way out. Even with the even knowing that Ace Queen is avoided at all costs, maybe limp, limp, and that would have been his only path. Right, but this is a, a, again not too dissimilar situation to the one Arthur had with the Ace Queen. Right, if he faces the jam here. What are we talking? Twenty five blinds? No. Uh, thirty sixty. No. Right. Yeah. Thirty sixty. So Makita's only got. What, just over, tw what, 20, yeah, 25, less than 25. They both have about the same stack. Maybe yeah. a little less, so yeah, this but. Is, this is, it. I mean, I was going to say the jam may, may be the way out, but a less than I all three bet. Gives a idea, and, uh, and this is just the, the hand that Sam has to go with to this sizing, right? Yeah, versus him. Versus Makita, exactly. He knows Makita's capable here. It's actually a little, he gave me, but th that's typical on these stack sizes to go less than 3x. Right, of course. You're not going to get peeled. Even though you are out of position. And He's call. never peeling 230. That's a call. And, uh, well, let's see, Jeff. Let's see how good Sangreenwood is. Can he turn this hand into a winner? Listen, I'll tell you what. Ace-queen, 
I have seen. If anything, though, Ace Queen it can do some damage with the, against Kings. It's, it's the, it's the one. It's the it's one, one it's thing power. that kind of has like it just feels unfair when you have Kings <coughs> and you see the Ace Queen. You're like, mm, still got life. Mm. Queen high, not enough. A little smile from Makita. He knows he's up against it a little bit here. Five outs. Two cards to come. No heart available for either player, so it's five outs, one to come. Makita knows these are the these are like a year. It's 2020, new decade. These kind of spots, right. do you get six, to be clean? And six it is. figure runouts. Yeah. Makita with a double up, 2.8 million back to the chip lead. Sam down to 280k. Back to being our short stack. It's one million. One, two, Big three, pot. Five. Huge pot. Huge, huge pot. And there we go, Jeff. We said everything's going right for Sam. He got dealt the ace queen and back to the bottom of the pile. 280. Marlin. Okay, they're obviously last hand of the level. And uh, great spot finds a. You're definitely getting called. Yeah. Marlin. It's just. I have a very good hand. He does have a very good hand. Otto needs to find an ace, just like Sam did in the last hand. No ace. Sam gets when back into it again. I thought this is an unexpectedly good hand. This is a Here it is, in the window, with another out behind. Mm. Sam needs a nine, and then he starts <coughs> the fade outs on the end. Sam, also a little insult to injury, just to him. He's yeah. like, I could use those aces his last hand. Only a nine will but save friend, this Greenwood. Between the eight and the ten. His friend from the middle. Uh, middle friend. <laughs> oh, GG, GG, buddy. Be, GG. Well, that's how quickly it happens. He spun it up, and then he spun out Sam Greenwood. Out in fifth, hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So you just lost playing them. Now it really is a case of the the two big stacks and the two shorter stacks. Twenty six, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Four of forty five. Serious business going on now. Yeah, two twenty five. All locked up, Makita. Collecting just to rip it in, it's just a, a horrible situation could occur there, couldn't it? Where he opens and Arthur jams it in, and he feels compelled to call with his king. And he is gonna, and also, good hand. fuck. And <laughs> the funny part is, you know, also with doing that with Ace King, you get to show, okay, you know, make people yeah. kill a little card, like, oh, I have Ace Jack, and it's like I'm, I'm like, think I'm getting you now. You're a little wary, and yeah, you know, she just it. Arthur can't really call there with the two short sets behind with any hand, so it's nice to yeah. obviously have some strong ones in there when we do it. Yeah. Aaron putting on the shoes. It's like the, the most advanced putting on the jacket. Yeah, he's got he's got he's got his uh he's standing up. He's got a chance Heart. though. Heart. Heart. Ten of hearts. Mm. Okay. Jack or a five. Yeah, that'll get you almost sitting back down. That is one of the better cards. See seventy only four out of five times Makita's gonna win only. It could chop. Mm, yeah. won't be. But it's Makita. Aaron. Taps all around, out in fourth, 225k, third final table of the week. He's no. doing just fine. He'll be off the short deck. We've seen him uh, already knocking around on the short deck okay. events this week. Nothing Two personal, final tables there. Really one and another. Repeat heads up. We had just uh, yeah, yeah. You, you had just one of the latest tournaments. The hand, the hand you lost, or I won when you had the jack. Yeah. I mean, and and there's no, as, as you said, what is it, the risk premium, Jeff? Is that we go yeah, with? Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it, and it's. It's low. It's right. zero. It's, there's, if you want to get back in the game, you're going to have to take a chance at some point. Because the, the other side of the, the equation is, sure, you're, you have no fold equity, really. Right. You're going to get called. Fine. You you double here, you get a million. Let's say you wait, try to get it in with a slight favorite or a flip. Right. Maybe now you only have 300K or something. Now you're back to where you are. So from that school of thought, you know, he's this is a fine spot. It's 40% 40, 40 to be back in the game. Yeah, I mean, he's putting, he's putting 540 in to win 700. And he's 43%, I so it's a profitable chip shop. I yeah. thought he was big blind, and I kind of, I, I don't think you heard me, but I said all in, like under my breath. 
people and then it's all the way isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Right. Obviously, the lone big blind situation confusing things. 8 6 3. Lucas needing diamonds by the back door. Queen or Jack through the Got front. Got some straight draw. 9 or 10 outs additional. Some good cards. That's not one, so. Nope. Tap. <laughs> taps the table. It was an actual. Yeah, need actual need zero. A, I, need, I need to call the gaming commission. It's, it's great for Russia over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, two Russian speakers battling it out. What? Heads up. Uh, are we having a break and changing seats? For so it goes on opposite side. 50k. Nice score. Look at that. I mean, just see how Can powerful so laddering is. Like, right. just like it was. It was really tight. Right. Came into the day guaranteed 112 and a half. Walks away with triple that. Oh, and a little bit under wrapped. Think you could uh, go either way here, but I, I would. I would think call, right? I mean, even yeah. though... A call's definitely going to be the majority of the time, but yeah. you, you're going to have three-bet this some of the time. I think you're right. It's just so pretty, too. It's just such a nice starting hand. Look at that. Look, he's up against the 8-4 off. And also, I guess it comes down a little bit to perception, right? To how does... Uh, I mean, I don't know how much Makita and Arto have played, but you, you're going to have a feel of your opponent and, and whether you think you want to always take a more passive line or mix in a lot more aggressive lines. Checks back to 8. Could go either way there, too. Some protection. It's a lot of bad cards. 9, 10, Jack, Queen, Ace. But what a check back it was, given the Makita has out flopped him. Yep. Right, and there are a lot of sort of straight draws that Makita can wrap on this turn, right? 4, 5, 5, 7, even. You know, just some nonsense ones. 5, 9. Yeah, maybe go bigger here. Like 250. 4, but 7. 180. It goes fairly uh, exactly yeah, half pot. It's nice when there's a lot of plus you can have to actually have top pair. Mix it in there with them. I mean, he's got a 9, he can definitely do this with 9 10. 7 9. 9 5, as I say. Yeah. Arthur also does block the um, draws, the, sp the spades and the. Wow, he's coming out with like a block kind of raise. 440. Yeah, this, this this accomplishes a couple things right. too, because now if you're Makita, you have a hand as strong as top pair with a okay kicker, and you're sort of on defense now because you're like, well, what is he raising? So now if he calls, you're gonna set up where, you know, Arthur has able to check back the river on a lot of rivers and right, so not have to call. You buy that. the showdown. Yep, which um, makes some sense. And you make Makita fold some of those draws of equity, so. Yeah, I don't think Makita was expecting to get raised with his holding. And um, if you're Makita, yeah, tricky spot. You also realize this is potential of a spot. What is he checking back the turn that now he's right. betting the river turn, or he's leading out on? Like you would think he would bet his two pairs or his top pair. So, um, you know, still it's one of those things where you can't do much about it. You can't even if he's up, feels that something might be. A little fishy. He's still kind of coughed there to not being able to do much. So let's see what the river provides. And uh, this could just go check, check. All right, complete some of those straight draws. Both block a straight. And yeah, you'd expect this to check, check now, right? Unless Alter really does decide that he's got to get way out of line here. But as you say, it doesn't make sense to have a lot of hands that have checked back, flop, raise, turn. But these guys will be balanced. So yeah, uh, that from that perspective, I think he kind of lost the min at that stage. Because let's right. say he just calls Kita may size up or go for a, a bet here on the river, and so he kind of lost the min right. in a way. But you protect your hand against some of those gut shots that bet. Eh? A third, a second, a fourth, decent scores. Yeah, you start saying. These series are pretty intense because the buy-ins are big, and some of these 50Ks and 25 guys are in for two, three, four bullets. And the the thing you talk about, you could be in a million dollars of buy-ins with one with one re-entry in the 250K, and, and right. you fly over here, you come out, and you know you could. There's going to be guys that that offer that just yeah. don't even get on the that don't even get some a contenders flag. already. You know, yeah. some top players in that in that mix. Of course, already. it's uh, these these series are intense. That's why it's so nice to get on the board early. Just a little confidence, a little little something. Right. Helps the helps. And of course when you get a heads up or you get a win, it's a big deal. Mm, 
Nikita going to check back his deuce and Jin on the turn. Surprise, Jeff, that you checked yeah. on back uh, on Limpo. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for a prediction there because I would be almost sure he'd bet that one. Kind of fun now. We both thought he was going to bet a deuce. Alter probably thought he would as well. So now he, now he gets to have the one of those fun spots, right, where you've got a hand you're not supposed to have. Yeah, true. But at the same time, if you're Arthur, you would expect he has some showdown value, like a, maybe a big, an ace high. Like, you know, so like it's, was he just going to start betting? He would bet five, six on the flop. He would bet, you know, what hand does he just start betting with now that you're beating? Like, you would think he would stab with, like, jack 10, right? Right. Like, so it's like, what, what hand does he check? It's kind of. I don't know. He, kinda I mean, he, curious. Called, he called once with the queen high. Ace on the river is kind of a. Good card for Arthur to see. I don't think Makita has too many aces the way this one's played out. So Yeah, he's going to bet his ace fives, his ace threes, probably his weak aces, ace, right, all he's, ace he's six, He's going to raise seven. some of them pre-flop. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of bizarre hand. So yeah, I, if I'm sad, though, I don't think Makita's got a lot on this board. 640. And that's why he's gone huge, double pot. When you can't have a lot. Means you got mostly bluffs. Means you go big, but I mean, Alto Queen Seven. I mean, this would be a stretch, wouldn't it? I mean, it was already the lightest hand he'd called the turn with. You'd imagine. Yeah. I mean, Alto can have some ace highs. That have got to the river. He can have. Uh, I guess some fours, even a nine, maybe. Playing out of position. The th yeah, and exactly in the spot, you're basically wrapping a deuce, essentially, or just like somehow a random just stone air bluff. And uh, it's, it is a cool sizing, but I just see, yeah, I don't love it. He has a club in his hand, but he would probably bet club draws on the flop. He's in two, got him in the tank at least. Yeah. He's burning some banks. Arthur's just piecing this together. Like you say, the sizing's so big. He's, he's saying, like, yeah, at least a deuce. Three, five, you'd imagine best stuff up if it got there. Hmm. Myself and Jeff both thought, wow, he does make the call. We both thought he'd better deuce in the flop, and Arthur pretty good. Feels like got stuck on that moment, didn't he? He got stuck on the thought that should a deuce, best the flop. He doesn't have one of those. So, uh, well, like, a really nice spot for Makita, like I say. He has a hand he's not supposed to have. And he's going to rep, right? But. Deuce three against the Cowboys. Yeah, I think Makita is going to start limping uh, almost 100% here. But this is, I mean, it's suited, right? Three two, he's probably one of the few hands he'd fold. But the uh, three deuce suited. I think he's just going to come start limping. And uh, Arthur with the pretty one to see. Heads up's never over, you know. One one double, and then you're a double away from the lead. So it's right. it's not so far out of reach. Very small raise. Just begging him in there. It's really inviting. And Makita, from this perspective, it's actually of like the worst. It's actually. Bit annoying because like if he makes it 240 or 300, you know you're just like all right, whatever, I'll move on. But like for this actual price with the suited hand, yeah, calling 120 to basically have a chance to end the match. Um, it's, yeah, you it's kinda, a weird. Size. It's hard to imagine this is a balanced sizing, 200. Yeah. Well, a little something from Makita, a deuce. And the double backdoor back straight door. draw, backdoor flush draw. Water pot bet on a broken board. Yeah, I think if you're Makita, you do realize that too. With that sizing, it, it just screams like Queen's plus, right? Like it's like if he had Ace King, even he's probably not going to give him that price. Right. It so just, it's like I mean, it, it's hard to imagine it's balanced. I'm, I'm with you. He probably thinks his opponent has. And that's a super okay. And, and, and again, in this scenario, is like you don't have to be super. You know, it, it, you can be weighted where it's it's even obvious, and you just like 
Go for it there. Oh, wow. Wow. More outs for Makita. No, no. Arthur can kind of go any sizing here, right? Because it sets up nicely for the river. Only 1.1 behind. Yeah, I think he'll go 300. Yeah, it seems like half pot. Leave yourself three quarter pot. Ah, all right. Surprising. Lair trap. And Makita's got to love to see that because I think if you're Makita, you just take a free one here. You're not scared of the ace peeling off. Your hand's sort of, he's not going to give a three. And uh, I don't know. I just don't see a ton of merit in betting here. What do you think? I'm, I'm with you. It just, I, I just feel like his so, hand so looks so. It's so bad if you get jammed on. Yeah. Against Kings, you see that we got 29% mm -hmm. equity. Interesting. Uh, I guess at the same time, if you do think your maybe opponent has ace, could have ace queen or ace x, you're they're not folding ace x's. But I don't know. I'm not in love with that. And I, if no. you're, I mean, let's see what happens now. If he gets jammed on, it's just it's puke. But then Arto may, you know, just go into trap mode with those with these mm -hmm. kind of hands. No, he does move it in. See, yeah. this is the problem. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not. I don't like so this at all. He cannot get away. Sick. Uh, nicely He's played by Arto. I, I hate the bet actually. Cannot yeah, I just. Get away. I think uh, given our. I mean, again. Jeff, we're sitting here in the booth. Yeah, we can see he's got kings. He makes course. it 200, but he does scream of like a really big hand. The check on the turn was sneaky, though. I guess maybe he, uh, you know, Makita believes he would be bet keep betting his those hands though. So I just think with Makita's particular holding, he has to be aware of that. Like that, right. whether he's yeah, yeah. yeah, he's getting so. two to one. Decides the call. Obviously, nearly getting the right price if he's against kings, and right. and there are some bluffs in there. Maybe he has some ace highs. He has yeah. some heart draws. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I just think I'm saying, yeah, and if nice. you're gonna bet, you gotta be. You're just bet calling it off. Right. So it's so like she feels pretty grim with yeah. bottom pair. Which you gotta be aware of it. Like a bet fold would be atrocious. So, I think check back would have been nicer. And well, ace six three or deuce thirteen outs. One to come. His attempt to win this trophy, not to be. And I, I would say that's a misstep from Makita. And and really well executed by Artur to keep in the deuce three suited. He did he right. knows he's taking a bit of risk with the sizing. It's small, but you got kings, it's heads up and you're short and uh really couldn't have gone any better for him there. The game very even in chips, Jeff. All these pots now, we're just playing 30 picks effective. They're all so valuable. And Makita flops best on King 9-5. 10 mm. 9 pardon me, now a king. Now Arthur's in trouble. Interesting spot, Arthur having checked back 10 9 five. He's gonna check back that flop. Quite a few hands, given all the wet texture. Have me raise pre. Makita's going to hit that with some frequency. Maybe a big, big bet here. Makita seems to be going pretty big on a lot of these spots. 400. There we go. Does exactly that pot with kings up. And second out, he knows Arthur going to have hands like this. A king. Kind of check back. Doesn't check back a nine on the flop, given Makita has one, he imagines. Obviously, Arthur going nowhere with top pair. My bar, a scary river, which that is somewhat. Hmm. Mikita, Mikita can think that's gin, right? He can think he's up against the hand. Like ace, jack, ace, queen. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he would check back maybe that exactly. Ace, jack, ace, queen, and then call the turn, think he could have the lead. But on the um, flip side, he, he could be against hand like ace, five as well, right? Would ace, five call the turn? I don't know. Right. But still think Makita's he's gotta feel really good here, of course. And if you're Arthur though, it's a bit confusing. There are draws that miss though, that he would check out of position on the flop and then lead the turn. I mean there's a lot of draws. Right. Jack eight. Jack seven. Um, yeah, somehow. Arthur does have a heart in his hand. Seven eight. Yeah, that the eight in his hand and having yeah, a heart. Yeah, it's not really a great. I mean, I guess the king of hearts isn't really a blocker because you don't think Makita's going to be that big with the king high flush draw, right? But I mean, he doesn't. 
Obviously, you can't have that hand, but the, the eight is certainly a bad one. You want them to have jack eight, you want them to have eight seven, you want them to have even maybe queen eight. Nine fifty. Yeah, but at the same time, this is a bit. Well, let's see, I mean. This is a bit difficult, I think, for Arthur to fold, though, because you saw he called with queen seven in like a spot where I thought it's like almost really hard to call. Here he. Turns top pair, Makita's barreling off there. What aces does he really have? He just calls out of the big line with lead the turn, so it's like... Right, he's saying he's got two pair plus two here, isn't he? Yeah. And Arthur makes the call and completely deal. understandable. Down to just 1.5 million. Yet again, Matika, Makita takes a big lead in mm. this one. What day does the 2.50 start? Friday or Saturday? Friday, So yeah. it's three-day? Friday, Saturday, and then... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Hmm. Three days. So then I couldn't stream Sunday. <laughs> I don't know if I could pull together a stream if I busted 250k and yeah, then, that'd like, be tough, go right? It would be kind of tough. Other side has maybe cash, get knocked out, hop in. There we go. That'd be fun. Imagine, yeah, you just cash it. Yeah. And, and bust out, and you're playing on a high. 320. Putting some pressure on. This is a weird one because this is sort of like too good to fold, but he's not going to limp jam. So go to a flop. Are you surprised Mikita didn't go perhaps a little bit larger than that with mm. his race? Wow, what a flop for Arthur. Smashes the 6 6 7. Mikita has, well, he has a heart and he has a 9. Certainly. Hand that can see and get in some trouble here. Yeah, also probably not a ton of hands. He puts, you know, six is one of those cards and hold them. It's like a, it's just a dud. Right. And you're like, what hand is he going to limp call like this spot with? Right, the six so, and the seven. Yeah, they're the both same pretty thing. dead cards. So this is a, a gin situation for Artur. All right, he's thinking Artur's more likely to have a hand like queen jack, queen ten, these kind of things. 220. 220. And if you're Arthur, I think uh, it's a very draw-heavy board, but your opponent, ra opponent, uh, I think you have to give him some rope here. Yeah, I mean, there's no way you can do anything but cool. You've got the button. It's really easy to get this in by the river anyway. And as you say, I mean, he just has a lot of weak hands, doesn't he, Arthur? And he's still going to have some of those on the turn, so you've got to mix in some strength. It's all sort of... Well... The other side, the flip Ow. side, I'm surprised, but the flip side is it's a really draw-heavy board, and if your opponent did raise you and has a big hand, you know, which in heads up, it's hard, but, like, you know, he did he right. could have queen. What's he doing, jacks, tens, queens? Right, yeah, he's getting all of those. He just gets a flush draw that go in. Yeah, so, you know, it's, uh, it's also a player like Makita. You want to give him a little rope. You want to also maybe do something contrarian that you think that the book says – and wow. interesting, and Makita is going to hook on here. Wow, Makita just thinks this is never a strong hand. And there we go, I mean, we yeah. didn't think he was going to raise this flop. Jeff he Makita obviously is thinking the same, but I mean, oh man, that's this the card that's going to get Makita in trouble. Oh, a lot of trouble. This is a literally blocker city. Like, for him, he's got a great, great hand to go crazy here with. Does he just lead here? Does he just put it in? Could, yeah, stack the pot. Like, what's he going to do? Check it to him, and then he doesn't want to call a, a jam. Um, so, yeah, it actually makes sense, right? Just rip it. 8-9. that. Would way. he raise 8-9, though, suited preflop? So, like, that. there's that. I mean, but, I guess it, but he can have hands like jacks and queens and stuff here that, right, that right. don't want to check again and give a card, but yeah. he okay, does check it. Maybe looking instead, Jeff, to this one going perhaps check, check, and he gets to bluff the river. Doesn't expect Alter oh. to bluff the second time. Mm. Mm. Wow. Damn it, give me a count. I think that's also part of the thing. Like in his mind, he probably says, like, yeah, maybe <laughs> ripping's the best play. But but what am I really right. repping? But like? if he if he checks the turn here and Arthur was bluffing and just gives up and checks back, then Mikita gets to the bet the river and win the pot, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So. Uh, Mickey just put himself in some tough spots in this one with some unconventional lines. I think this one he's going to get away from. I mean. I mean, he's getting two and a half to one. Jack nine, Jack eight with a heart. Boss fits super well. This is ambitious to think he has Jack nine, Jack eight, eight with the heart, heart and yeah. this to raise him on the flop and then. Seven eight, very logical hand. Seven nine. Seven X in general, but I have three. Nine. Archer's got to love this. I mean, he's talking about a lot of like pretty. Suspects, right? The suspect hands, and I'm a fish, but I call that is his name online, I believe. Fish, fish 2013 yeah. makes the call. He's fishing for an eight or a heart. Yeah, this would be a grim one if Harter were to yeah. lose here. If he holds, he's gonna have a massive chip lead himself, yeah. coming back twice from uh. Over three to one down to have that lead. Queen six suited. What a spot! Wow, hot oh, on the end, Jeff. That is a grim way to lose. Makita. Well, <laughs> Makita says sorry. There's, there's no apologies in poker, Jeff. But he yeah. feels a little grim how he's just done him on that one. Six six seven wow. flop. That one looked to be all Arthur. He looked. Be coasting towards the big chip lead, Jeff, and all of a sudden he is the second place finisher. Makita Batiakowski, the champion of event number four, 50k Super Herola. Jeff, what a hand. Man.